Well, we've just been watching you play a bit of pool with Joe Ward. I have to admit, the standard was pretty good. Is that is that regular for you? Do you like a bit of pool? Yeah, um, I love that room, to be fair. There's a table tennis table in there as well, but I'd put myself up there. Definitely number one seed on the... <laughs> on the table tennis and definitely top three on the pool as well. Yeah, and pretty impressive that with the final shot to get the black, Wardy had been a bit sneaky and boxed you in and you said exactly what you were going to do and managed to perfectly recreate it. Yeah, you know what you're going to get with Wardy every time. All he does <laughs> is tuck people up. He's, he's no skill. He's probably in the bottom bottom five at the club, I'd say. <laughs> Poor old Wardy. And with the, with the season as a whole, it seems like you're really enjoying life at the moment. Yeah, um, lots of games. Um, I know when I first moved here, that's that's the reason I came to to play lots of football, and and I'm doing that this year, and and the results are coming with it. So yeah, I'm really enjoying my time here. Yeah, and you found a role that really suits you, and I guess plays to a lot of your strengths. Yeah, um, it's yeah. I said when I came here again, um, I could play anywhere within the centre centre area, whether that's in the ten or or deeper. But um, I think I'm most comfortable playing deep. Um, the gaffer's got trust in, the, in me to play there and, and yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying doing it. Yeah, and you're a great example of why you always need to stay focused and on it because out of the team for the opening couple of games but then straight in and you've basically been in ever since. I think we've got a lot of um, strength in depth here. The, the squad that, that travels to games and, and the, the lads that are on the bench, they've always having a massive impact. You've seen um, Dems the last few weeks coming off the bench and, and changing games for us. So. It's a long season, we're going to need all the players we've got, so it's good that we've got that strength. Yeah, having got used to being in the starting eleven, was it especially frustrating the other day when you had to sit it out? Yeah, um, definitely, but um, like I said, I knew the lads would get the job done. Um, we had to win ugly, I've, I've watched the game back, um, but that's what you've got to do to, to get over this season. Yeah, and I suppose in a strange sort of way, it underlines the progress that you've made, that you're annoyed just to be missing out on, on one match. Yeah, definitely. Um, I know last year it was, um, I was in and out all the time, and, and like you say, it's, it's nice to be finally more settled in there. Um, and yeah, if we can keep adding to the results we've, we've been getting, then that's positive too. Yeah, and presumably right throughout the week, it just makes life easier in that when you're regularly in the team, you roughly know where you're at, how you're preparing things, you can do things in the same way each week. Yeah, um, when we when we go out and look at how opposition is going to play, it's, it's good to sort of um, see where you're going to be, what position you're going to be in during the game. Yeah, and without doubt the craziest 10 minutes that you've had so far this season, your amazing goal and then getting sent off just moments after, that must have been a proper roller coaster. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have another <laughs> game like that. Um, I don't score many, but when I do, they, they tend to be decent ones. Um, and then the sending off, it was it's still not quite sunk in what, what happened that day, but the main thing was we got the win and, and kept the run going. Yeah, presumably it was a case of your, your heart just sank really when you saw the, the ref got the card. <laughs> Yeah, um, first one of my career, so it was a, a weird feeling, um, one that I've not had before. Um, but yeah, it was yeah, tops of turvy ten minutes for me. When you got back home, did the the positive, if you like, of scoring the goal, did that outweigh the the red cards? It starts to sink in. Do you think more about the goal than the sending off? Uh, I think the fact it finished two nil meant that I could think <laughs> about the goal. I think if, um, like I say, when I went down to ten men, if if they'd managed to get back to level level terms of us, then I'd have probably thought more about the red, but. Yeah, it's definitely more positive than negative. Yeah, and of course, that's one of the reasons why it's been such a, a positive few weeks for you on an individual level. The team's been going well. Just the one defeat since the opening week of the season, which is a, a great run. Yeah, we said, um, especially at home, um, as form, home form um, last year wasn't the best. So we said at uh, start of the season, if we could put that right. And when you would, when you would score goals, um, obviously we've got a new back four in um, and they've done brilliant as well. Um, like I say, it's just building on that now and, and keeping the run going. Yeah, and it's been a case of finding a way to win, finding a way to get the points with some of the matches over recent weeks, finding different ways of doing that, and each time you've been up to the challenge. Yeah, it's like I mentioned earlier, the, the Gillian game, although I missed out, I've, I've seen it back, and uh, the lads all spoke about it in the change room as well. They said it was um, completely different to, to how we've, we've played this season. Um, it's more winning first, first contacts, getting on the seconds, and then going and playing from there. So... It's good that we've got um, both sides to his game.